Hey guys, welcome to another video. This time we're heading to the Kingdom of Tonga for a spearfishing trip with a couple of the lads from SA. So this trip was actually a few years ago, I think it was in 2014. I've posted a few little snippets of this footage over the years, but I've never actually made a proper video out of it. So here it is, only nearly seven years later. <laughs> for those of you that don't actually know where Tonga is, it's a small, patch of islands in the South Pacific about 2,000 k's to the north of New Zealand. You look on the map you have to zoom in pretty far to actually see it. it's a small area. It's actually a little kingdom that's made up of over 170 different islands mostly which are uninhabited but pretty much all of them have some white white sandy beaches, tropical interiors and crystal clear blue water around them. Perfect for spearfishing, perfect for big fish, dog tooth tuna, wahoo, marlin, just all that sort of good stuff. One of the best things about it is visibility, the water visibility. It's ridiculously good, especially for a couple of South Aussie boys that have come over, never dived any blue water at all. We would consider this really good visibility on a really good day if we were lucky to get it. compared to this visibility in Tonga, which was off a shore dive. So for a couple of murky water lads going into blue water, what usually happens? you miss. This clip is a perfect example of what I mean by you miss. So I hadn't actually speared anything in Tonga. This was the first day on a shore dive and here I am heading down to the bottom just to have a quick look around see if there's any fish. As I get closer to the bottom you'll see a moo appears or a big ass sea brim. I get a little bit excited, try get closer I rush things, <laughs> aim up thinking I've got you and bang, I missed. My spear fell short of the fish, he got away, I don't even think it touched him. But yeah, that's what happens when you go into blue water from murky water. You misjudge the distance because of how clear the water is and your spear doesn't even make it to the fish. Big move. <laughs> Flea, I learnt pretty quick from my mistakes and that was the only fish I've missed this whole entire trip. But anyways, I'll roll on the rest of the video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe.
older one, brother. Awesome. Patient, mate. See that the old uh, facial yeah. works good, Shit, brother. Yeah. Three of them came in. You wanna shoot that trout? I don't know if I can get down that far. What we've got to do is get up further. Yeah. Just relax, have a quick breather. And we'll just make sure we're up there and we'll dive down up there and let the tide drift to the back. And pull it down. Hopefully it'll be come up a little bit. that's the end of another video I hope you enjoyed and if you made it this far I will chuck a few pictures from this trip at the end of this video check them out and hopefully I'll have something for you in the next week or two to have a look at all right take it easy